Well, I was gonna use my tripod for my phone so I can record in decent quality instead of having to use my GoPro, but it looks like I'm gonna need a new one. So, GoPro it is. So what's up everybody? I'm gonna be showing you how to do, uh, or at least uh, setting up your Aver Media capture card for the Xbox One X. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because I saw a few reviews and I saw how to set it up, but I didn't see one on uh, YouTube that explains on how to set it up for your Xbox One X. And there's uh, a few minor complications when setting it up and uh, workarounds that you need to know which aren't easy to come by. The, um, it doesn't come with instructions for setting up for certain consoles. It's got you instructions to set up for your PC so you can download some software, how to update your capture card so that it could run the latest firmwares. It's got that information and it doesn't tell you how each different console behaves differently with those uh, piracy um, issues. So this is one of those videos that I'm gonna show you how to in case you're having problems, in case you got the exact same one or some other off brand, other brands. Uh, capture card and you might be running into the same issue on the one X and this um, also helps you out on the regular Xbox and the regular one S it should be the exact same thing okay so on my setup right now I took a I took away my laptop and my tower so I don't have my PC stuff set up I just have my nice Corsair matte Xbox capture card HDMI to monitor um, I got the small HDMI cable that came with my Aver media capture card you're gonna need yourself uh, a nice four port and this is actually kind of important a four port audio cable you know it's got your left your right your mic and your sound which is important in case you want to get a longer one in case your setup is far away maybe you want to use it on your TV stand maybe you want to use it in your desk and it's just not enough space or it's too cluttered you want to get farther away and you got to get yourself a, a longer cable <clears throat> which is kind of at least it isn't too short of a cable compared to the small HDMI cable you have to have your capture card right next to your console or your PC so you're going to want to get another one of these. I unfortunately have given away all of them, so I don't have an extra one. Now, one more thing setting up um, is your cable, your power cord is a USB to micro SD. You can, all of these cables you can update, you can upgrade on your own. You can, if you have better ones and by all means, um, you should. So the only one that you might have an issue with would be plugging into your mic. If you're not using a studio uh, my, uh, computer mic and you're using your headset um, off of your consoles to use your mics, then this is where one of the issues for how close you have to be with is going to occur since you have to be right here plugged in on your headset. I don't have my headset with me, but you can either get a, a, a port to port connector and just get another one of these cables and extend it which to be honest is kind of a drag okay I'm gonna start this up let's uh, plug our HDMI monitor to out get your other a small HDMI cable and we're gonna have to plug this one into the in now plug Let's see back here. We're gonna go to our HDMI TV out. So you're gonna want to make sure that the console is going directly into the capture card and into the HDMI, the outs, the outsource to your monitor. And this is what I mean by having to get a longer HDMI cord. You're gonna have to be right next to your console. Now I'm a back cable kind of guy I don't like having all my cables in front having a mess everywhere um, but you know for this setup it's just gonna do it real quick get some of these cables out of the way plug this power in 
get put in your audio jacks into the controller port not the mic port the controller port and this one is going to go directly into the controller so you can have control over the audio settings on the game chats okay now that i got my controller i'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug this bad boy in make sure that you don't connect your mic to your controller that's going directly to this went ahead and got my headset and my mic for the demonstration of this video for a proper setup you're gonna plug this bad boy in here okay and you're good to go now let's go ahead and boot this bad boy up make sure that your settings is on 4k pass through if you have a 4k monitor and you're not going to record at the moment you just want to make sure that your setup is correct make sure that you leave it on a 4k pass through boot this up and uh, see if it works out. All right, look at that. Now this isn't a 4K monitor. This is actually a 1080p screen with a 120 refresh rate. So it's not top quality, but it, it does what it needs to do for my computing needs. I actually game it on a 4K TV. Honestly, my, I don't know how I feel about 4K TVs, honestly. I feel like 1080p is the proper resolution. 4K is just nicer for big, big screens so you can actually see details far away. But as far as gaming goes and everything on your needs, this is the adequate size. Just you in a chair, the screen, a wide angled one, and you're good to go. Anyways, now that we got it up, um, now that everything's working correctly, as you can see, I got my Apex Legends, my background, and my Xbox One X wallpaper. Now, you're going to see over here that it's still red. That means it's not ready to record any footages, and that's probably because there's no SD card in there at the moment. I'm actually using it on my GoPro, so I'm going to switch cameras out. But before I do, I want to, now that I know that it's working, I'm going to want to put it on the SD card setting so that I know that it's as soon as I turn it on, it's good to record. And when you switch from any of the settings, your TV or your monitor is going to flip out, turn on, and then turn back on. Even without an SD card, it should be able to pass through anyways. But now you're going to be in uh, 1080p if you're on a 4K uh, monitor or TV. Okay, I'm going to switch out now. Okay, now that we're back and I got my SD card into my capture card device. If everything is good to go, the light should be blue. Now, starting off... When you start recording, um, you're going to want to make sure that you have your mics uh, set up to decent volumes. Now, the best way you can tell whether it's muted or not, you have about five different levels of audio for your mic. This only controls the mic. This does not control game footage or uh, the levels of audios. In order to control that, you're going to have to be plugged into your PC just on the power sources and download and install its software that it comes with inside the box and in there you'll be able to have more control over audio levels you can go ahead and drop it all the way down and it'll turn red once it's muted that means it's at its lowest setting and from there you should have five until you maxed out so one two three four five and it'll double blink when you know that it's maxed mic volume now personally i don't like to have it at max mic volume because i'll either be screaming or i'll be yelling or something so i'll either bring it down one notch or two and that should be about balanced out between game footage and uh um your mic so why not just bump it up one more just to make sure that your audio and your voice is clear enough to pass through now that is that as out of the way I want to show you one of the real reasons that I even decided to make this video piracy um, the Xbox one X doesn't have a, a setting unlike the PlayStation to prevent you or to stop you from recording anything it automatically lets you as soon as from the start however 
your Xbox or your uh, One S will have an issue once you boot up YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, anything with a video um, sourcing outlook. As soon as you launch it, it's going to launch its uh, protective um, anti-piracies. And as you can see, my capture card has just went red. It was just blue. I haven't edited the footage out. You will not be able to record. You could close the app. You can close the app, but it's still going to turn red. Now, go ahead and turn off my Xbox. It'll go back to blue. But it'll turn back red since there's no actual uh, source coming into the capture card. Now you're going to say you're setting it up one, one more time and you turn it back on. Yeah, just set it up. You're launching your console for the first time. You got your SD card inside and you're thinking to yourself, yeah, it's, everything should be just fine. However, not everything is correct. So as you can see. We're back to the dashboard, and yet I still can't. I can't record. I, I don't have it. So, the main issue with this is that when you have it on power, uh, when you take it off power saving mode, and um, you have it, so you have a fast launch, and you can instantly get signed into your uh, console. The the anti piracy mechanism will kick in, and it's gonna stay this way until you do a complete hard reset now you can do it from the ma in the mini menu or you can just hold the power button for 10 seconds and then start it back up and that is the only way on your one x to get rid of the piracy control that you have okay and the xbox should be booting up and it's in blue. This is going to be an issue every time you have to start up and trying to use your capture card. If you were on YouTube earlier or Netflix, you're going to have to do this every single time. And see, now we are able to record. And everything is good to go. There is no really a set time where you can't record. You can record your, your Xbox dashboard straight away as long as you have your everything's plugged in and everything's ready to go however it will turn off once you start recording and you log into your net uh, youtube or netflix or hulu the copy uh, the anti-piracy protection will kick in so keep that as a note uh, it's a bit of an issue on the playstation it's a little bit different they have a setting called the dcph in the in the video settings so in there you're gonna have to actually turn it off because most playstations have it enabled you're gonna have to turn it on and in, in, in order for it the light to turn blue that way it can record at any moment <clears throat> and i believe i'll probably put it up here as an example and go over it but for now yeah this is how you get your uh setup in order now one of the other little things i want to go ahead and bring up um for your xbox you might have any 4k resolution questions this does not record in 4k it only lets you pass through 4k i have it in the record mode for your storage your sd card and then you got your pass through on the right and that is only going to let you pass through 4K and it will not enable HDR. So if you have HDR on your monitor or on your TV or maybe you're trying to use um, Dolby Vision, it will not let you enable those features. It'll only push out that resolution. So if you want to use your HDR or Dolby Vision, you're going to have to connect your HDMI back into your console straight to your monitor. Now it's one of the drawbacks of this and to be honest it's kind of been warned when you get one of these that if you want to record in, 10, in 4K HDR you will have to get a capture card that is connected to your PC um, in order to record game footage at those resolutions since this is more of a portable option this is more of a plug and play even though it's really kind of like plug in a bunch of crap and plug in a bunch of stuff and then you know buy an sd card but that's besides the point 
and that's one of the drawbacks. However, I am actually truly enjoying this thing. I really don't have an issue, especially starting off a, a YouTube channel, especially starting off, um, you know, doing things. This is a good option. It's a little bit on the pricier range. It was about $200, give or take with taxes. But to be honest, it's kind of worth it. And since I did it at the moment, I didn't have a PC that could handle it or the setup or the space even to have it all connected and going. This is a good option just to have it in on my TV stand, on my monitor, on everything. It's just a good option to start off with, specifically if you don't have much experience in video editing and all these kinds of things. It is a good, that is my honest opinion. That is a really good option, except for this little issue that didn't come with instructions inside the box to tell you about anti-piracy protections on consoles and on blu-ray players as such you know but i guess uh, that's what youtube's for right so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you a good uh just, just some footage to start off with and um yeah we'll take it from there <laughs> so I was going to plug in my GoPro, but I realized that I only have one SD card that supports um, 190 megabytes worth of transfer speeds. I only have another SD card from way back in 2005, and it is not supported by either of these two devices. So that's one issue that you might have to... Uh, I doubt it, since most SD cards come with the high in... in um, what's that? Transfer rates? between devices on how fast they can record and transfer data. Um, most anything in 2019 that you buy in stores will already come um, prepared to be running on these devices. However, I only got one, so I'm just going to use my phone. That meaning I only get to use one hand. But in, it's just a demonstration. I'm just going to launch a game. I'll start recording right now. I got my headset on, and I'm going to be turning on Far Cry, Far Cry New Dawn. Also going to be coming out with the Let's Play for this, since uh, I did buy this game for that purpose. I just wanted to get some more gameplay time in, but I've been too busy. But I really wanted to get this one out of the way, since I really wanted to show people how you can get past this 4K protection, anti-piracy bullshit. Oh yeah, so one other thing when it's recording... You're gonna want it, you're gonna see it flashing between red and blue. That's also the same thing happens as flashes blue when it's updating. When you put in an old, a new uh, firmware in it straight from the website, you can download a firmware to update the capture card, which is something you're gonna want to do at the beginning. But yeah, Far Cry New Dawn. I just wanted to show that it's uh, recording, so I'm probably just going to take this footage and uh, transfer it over and actually display what it's recording. So, peace. See you in the game. Alright guys, what is up? So, just waiting to log in real quick. So, here we are. What's up? I don't know about you guys, but Far Cry New Dawn seems lazy. Not in the architectural way, but it just seems like really rushed. Because that's one thing I like about these Far Cry games is how well everything's placed. Anyways, this isn't a review on Far Cry. <laughs> Alright guys, that was my review for the Ever Media 2 Plus capture card. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give me a like. It, it would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, thank you. Peace.